In this video, we'll be answering some angle-based questions. So the question is asking us to calculate angle X O Y. So we could calculate angle A O B and angle B O C using the trigonometry rules. So when you add up angle A O B and angle B O C, you would get angle X O Y. So now let's calculate our angle A O B. So tangent AOB equals to the opposite, which is 15, over adjacent, which is 8. So angle AOB would be the inverse of 10, 15 over 8. And for our angle BOC, it is tangent BOC equals to the opposite, which is 22.4, over the adjacent, which is 8. So angle BOC equals to the inverse of 10, 22.4 over 8. So to calculate your x, o, y, you would just add up the inverse of tangent 15 over 8 plus with the inverse of tangent 22.4 over 8. And that would give you an answer of... 132.27 which I'm going to run to one decimal place because we're finding an angle so that's 132.3 degrees now let's move on to the next question and they're asking us to calculate the length of the arc XBY so we know that the angle AOC is 132.3 from the previous question. So we could use the circumference formula, which is 2 pi r, multiply with the fraction of the sector, which is theta over 360. So 2 pi, our radius is 8. Our theta is 132.3 over 360. And when you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 18.47, which I'm going to run to three significant figure, which is 18.5 centimeters. Now let's look at the last question. And they're asking us to calculate the area of the shaded region. So to find the area of the shaded region, we would have to minus the sector from the triangle. So first, let's find the area of the triangle, and that would be 1 over 2 base times height. So 1 over 2, our height is 8, and our base is 15 plus 22.4. And so the area for our triangle is 149.6. And now let's find the area of the sector. So we would use a pi r square, which is the area of a circle, multiplied with the fraction of the sector. So that's theta over 360. So our radius is 8, and our theta is 132.3 over 360. So the area of the sector is 73.89, which I'm going to round to 3 significant figure, which is 73.9. And now we're going to subtract 73.9 from 149.6 to find the area of the shaded region. So that would be 75.7 centimeter square. 